Hey everyone, Sarah here with Kiwi Real Estate. So today I'm going to be talking about the Riverton housing market for February 2022. Let's get started. So this first slide here is a daily snapshot. Now I put it side by side with January 2022 and February 2022, just so you can see a little bit of a comparison as to the different months and if there's any changes. Now, one thing to take into account, the interest rate for February 2021 on average was 2.73%. And the average interest rate for February 2022 was 3.55%. So take those interest rates into account when you're looking at these stats. So 2021, we started the month with seven active listings and finished up with eight active listings. Now, again, uh, the blue line is for 2022 and the black line is for 2021, same time, different year. So in February 2021, we started with 10, so a few higher than February, and we had a lot of, lot of, as you can see, the uh, peaks and the drops and the zigzags and whatnot, and while it's only one or two houses, it does make for an interesting um, little graph here. Compared to January, where blue stayed on top and black stayed on bottom, we had a lot of crossovers in the month of February, and we ended up with 2021 higher than 2022. Only by two houses, but still, it was higher in 2021. Now, here we have the under contract properties. Now, as you can see, January and February have completely flipped. You have got 2021, uh, tw sorry, 2022 above uh, quite considerably in January. And then in February, we have 2021 considerably above 2022. Now, like I said in my last video, we have had a lot of new builds going on. So this will indicate that there are a lot of the new listings have uh, been activated and gone under contract. Now, again, they can stay under contract for a long period of time, especially for new builds. But it is good to see um, that there's still a lot of activity. There's a lot of houses on the market. There's a lot of properties going under contract, even though it's a little bit less than the previous year it's still a really good market. Okay, now let's compare Riverton to Bluffdale for February 2020. As you can see, uh, Bluffdale again has had some really interesting ups and downs with their figures crossing over with 2021 and 2022, which, you know, it happened. So actively they got up to 13 listings drop down considerable words are hard today, um, which means probably a lot of uh, properties been under contract or their listing expired and they removed the listing. But 2022 stayed on top uh, just above 2021 and the complete opposite for Riverton. Okay, now again here we have the under contracts. Bluffdale is still considerably higher than Riverton for under contract properties. And like I said, both Riverton and Bluffdale have a lot of new builds going on. Bluffdale just has a significantly a higher number. So that is why their under contract is sitting just below 175. And Riverton is, well, it started just, uh, just under 95 and it ended up, let's see here, um, between 70 and 75. So still really good numbers to see. Now, these are the average days on market. So we have January and we have February. The days on market still really, really close, 29 to 22. So that means they've shortened up the time frame from going under contract and sold. But look at the average list price and average sold price. They have jumped up over $100,000, which is incredible. So yeah, houses have increased in value. People are paying more for the property, like list price to sold price, still fairly close, $10,000 or just over $10,000 uh, as opposed to just under $2,000. But look at the number of sales in February for Riverton. January 29, February, we had 46, which is fantastic. So yeah, that's the housing market for uh, February 2022, comparing uh, some of the Riverton to Bluffdale, as well as Riverton January to February. Yeah. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Now, again, we are a husband and wife team. 
Uh, I'm Sarah. My husband is Ken. Uh, we do all sorts of stuff together. We're very involved in our community as well. We do Serving Utah Heroes, which is an amazing program that allows us to give back thousands when we help heroes buy, sell, or refinance their home. There's our email address, but all of our other contact details are below this video if you need to reach out. Have a fantastic day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.